Yo, what's up, everybody? Devil May Care 4 here for my boy. Mr. Howard, one, two, three. That's right. And we're going to check out a special video, one of my suggestions, uh, Devils Never Cry. This is obviously Devil May Cry 3's main theme. Uh, it was using like a trailer at one point, and I think the ending, or one of the endings, uh, whatever, the ending, I think, um, it pretty much is the, it's the theme of the game, and Roger's never really heard it, I don't think. Uh, right? Don't know for sure. We're gonna have to. Pretty iconic. Um, yeah, maybe when you play it, I'm like, oh yeah, I remember that song. Yeah, so it's a really good song. We checked out uh, Nero's theme for Devil May Cry Five last time, and now we're gonna check out this theme, Dante's Awakening. Devils never cry. Here we go. You don't remember this part? So iconic. I had to know if you if you don't know this part, you never heard it. I think I have. Yeah, I've heard this song. Yeah, <laughs> that part is what I remember. Pretty good. So good. <laughs> I love that this like I don't know how to explain it like Chronicle Rock Mixer, so fun.
definitely feel like building combos in this <laughs> Oh yeah. I like this part real quick. He goes, victim cries and hatred squeals. He goes, he goes like squeals. He does it so good. Hold on. That was so cool to me. That's hard. Yeah, he, he does it so good, so effortlessly. Nice. Good song. That's like the classic, like that. This is like the game that made me play the series in the first place. Like I didn't really care about Devil May Cry one and two when it came out. And then like my friend Adrian um, had three and he let me borrow it. He said I had to play, I had to play it. And I played it and that game was beating my ass, bro. I was getting pissed. I never played a game like okay. it before, you know? I was getting pissed. I didn't like it at first. And then, like, I don't know. I just, something, like, clicked. I went to bed that day, and the next day, I, I woke up the next day. I was stuck on Cerberus, that three-headed dog. Like, mm -hmm. he was like an ice dog. He was a pain in the ass. I was stuck on him. And I just, like, for a whole day, tried to beat him. And then I went to bed and woke up the next day, and I just said, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to beat this guy's ass. And I beat him. And then from then on, the game just became, like, I understood what the game was trying to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, trial and yeah. error. Like, Cause when I was first playing it, I was just kind of beating my head against the wall trying to get through it, you know. But now I, yeah. I learned more about dodging, shooting, and and like taking time for striking when when they do a whiff, you know. It's just it was just really one of those games that brought me to this this kind of genre in the first place. And yeah, it's just, weird. It's weird how that works. Cause I remember being a kid and the same thing. Like I would be stuck on a certain part all night, and then I'll go to sleep, and then the next day I'll play it. I'll beat it on the first try. And yeah. It's like, it's because I was so <laughs> salty. It's because I was so salty losing, and I wasn't. I wasn't trying to learn. You know what I mean? I was, my ego was getting the best of me, and it was just keeping me from trying to beat it. You know, and then I yeah. let go of that and just beat it. But yeah, this game, this game soundtrack is insane. It's probably one of the best ones, if not the best one, in my opinion, compared to all of them now. Now there are some standout songs from other games, like you know, like uh, Virgil's theme. We used to check out one day, and Devil May Cry Five, but. Overall, even Virgil's theme in this game is kind of... I might show you that next time. It's kind of ridiculous, actually. A bit long, but it's it's a roller coaster. I think all of Virgil's theme has always been traditionally like 9 to 10 minutes long. Insanely long. Mm. Yeah, like... So I know that... It's probably because he's just like a, one of those characters, you know what I'm saying? He has so much inside turmoil and like f mixed feelings and stuff like that. But it's just great. So, yeah. Um, I hope, did you like it? How'd you feel? Yeah, I like it a, a, a lot. It very it very much fit the atmosphere of a Devil May Cry game. Yep. Super um, fitting. And yeah, it it made me want to turn on the game and start doing some combos and shit. Yep. <laughs> sure. But yeah, with that being said, guys, uh let us know what to check out next. If you have a favorite Devil May Cry song or a boss theme or anything you guys want to check out, let us know. It could be any game, it doesn't have to be Devil May Cry. And also uh, you know, make sure you guys leave a like and Subscribe to the channel. Uh, thanks to you guys. We managed to reach our sub goal of 100 subs uh, before last month ended. And for that, we're going to do something special in a week or so. Uh, so make sure you hit that bell to keep a, you know track of notifications whenever we go live. We have a couple things coming up, like a live stream and whatnot, where we're going to have you guys pretty much uh, come in there and give us suggestions live. And we check them out live. So that'd be fun, right? Um, yeah. yeah. So thank you guys so much for the support and love. It's been really fun had doing this. We've only been about this is about a fourth week now, and or the start of our fourth, fourth week. So it's been really a blessing and hella fun, and just can't wait to do more and check out more of you guys' uh, suggestions. So we do read all the comments. So anything you guys leave below, we will check it out. Thank you yes. guys. Yep. See you guys next time. Hopefully. Peace.